The steam meeting at Amberley was thoroughly entertaining, with adults and children enjoying the noise, the smells and the thrill of the steamers moving throughout the museum. There were some old favourites as well as a smattering of rather interesting newcomers. So the smallest full-sized steam engine ever produced. Steam roller. Steam roller. Yeah. My apologies. <laughs> Built by one man in his garage. Uh huh. To roll his driveway, isn't it? Half his garage. <laughs> it must have been one hell of a driveway. Oop. I think it was an excuse to build a steam roller. Yeah. There was this ex-Royal Engineers roller and trailer which I had not seen before. It came complete with a friendly 10 month old Spaniel. Lovely dog.
the star of the show for me was this Stanley Steamer from 1907. The first I've seen outside a museum. And also, I've never seen one move under its own steam. Sorry about that, before. And I rode in it. Unless you're really lucky. Yeah, no, uh, I do. I have that. I've got that uh, technique. Yeah. In March, when we have these in the winter, the heavy old things are pretty good. they are, especially when you weigh nine stone. Yeah. <laughs> I've just converted <laughs> the beer safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you coming on? Go back and then I'll go around the. You want me to go around the It was a lot smoother than I thought it would be, but at 6 foot 3 I was perched on rather than in the car. And the video suffered because I felt we need to hold on. Thanks Martin for a most memorable drive. Martin's the owner and has had the car up to 60 miles an hour, but also goes shopping with it. Love to see that in my Tesco's. In 1906, a Stanley Steamer held the land speed record at over 127 miles an hour. God, some of these steam engines are so slow, aren't they? This is magic, though. Do you go shopping in it? Yes, it's good. It was a great day's entertainment with some fascinating vehicles. Where else could you be enjoying a picnic? with a steam engine passing within a few feet.